Hey, Mug, there's some oh. big news on the Studio 10 front. There is. It's still on TV. Oh, oh you mean no. that they're actually... Um, <laughs> oh, harsh. That's way harsh time. <laughs> oh, wow. He's <laughs> got claws. Yes, meow. <laughs> uh, yes, over the weekend, in fact, as we know, uh, lots of changes happening at 10, not least of which is a whole bunch of the on-air team uh, and behind the scenes team, unfortunately, being made redundant, uh, as was broken on TV Black Box, I think by you, Rob, the other week, uh, they'll be moving to a two hander. So Sarah Harris and someone else as their main host. There were some auditions over the weekend for that other person's seat, uh, including Tristan McManus, one of the judges uh, oh. from Dancing with the Stars. Yeah, this is interesting. Oh. Yeah, so he's cute. Uh, not exactly a I'll go there. name. But um, it, it is interesting that uh, he was secretly held in. I can tell you that the crew were made to sign confidentiality agreements that they wouldn't reveal. It really worked, didn't it? <laughs> <laughs> McKnight spies are everywhere. What can I tell you? Um, this name's come out of the blue because we all thought Andrew Rochford was the man. <clears throat> but um, it turns out, Ben, that uh, Andrew Rochford isn't, uh, isn't in the running any longer. Well, name. I also heard something similar, just really quickly. You know, some industry insiders have been talking about this. From what I'd heard, maybe, you know, Dr. Andrew, who was probably a front runner from inside Channel 10, got maybe a little bit scared of the job maybe, and that's why he decided to turn it down. But from what I've heard, he's turned the job down and then everyone thought it was going to go to Merrick Watts, uh, but he didn't take the job either. So, look, as we're going down the line, I think they're now looking at who would be more suitable. And if you ask me, I think that Tristan is fresh. I think that he would offer something really, something new. And I think he would offer, well, for starters, not falling asleep with Dr. Andrew, and then B, uh, I think Merrick, while I love him, I just feel like it's like pushing shit up a hill kind of thing. They need to do something new. They need to do something fresh. And I think Tristan does facilitate that role really well. So a big thumbs up from my behalf. Yes, he's good to look at, but I think he's something the Channel 10 needs. And and great, not one of the usual suspects, let's be honest. You know, like uh, it is it is whether they've been forced to because people haven't accepted the gig. At least they're thinking a little bit differently, although he's yeah. very much in that uh, David Campbell sphere. The big thing for Studio 10. No, he's Mark, not. Or, don't, do you know what we don't need to do? Just sorry to jump in there because I feel really passionate about this. We don't need to compare everyone to someone else. I think Tristan is something very different. I think it is going outside of those familiar faces that we see all the time. And I think that is going to pay off for Channel 10 if it's they put not, him in the chair. It's not, Ben, because it's not different enough. I'm glad that they've gone outside the scope of who we, who we expected. But my point is that he, I look at him and I think very much like David Campbell, he can dance, can probably sing. And what is the point of difference of Studio 10 going to be going forward if it's exactly the same as The Morning Show and Today Extra? So I'm sorry, this is one aspect where you do have to compare to what your competition is doing. And if Studio 10 do a carbon copy of the other two, it's not going to work. That's just my opinion. It's a Ben, Rob and Rob, oh Ben, Rob and Rob.